and welcome to this week's episode from Tough Rocks. This little handmade rock is going to be painted with a bird, specifically a dove. What's going to happen is I'm going to do, remember the, the fake watercolour we did a little while back? I'm going to do the same type of thing again, this time using acrylics and water them down and just dab it all over. Then I'm going to paint the outside in black, outline the bird possibly in silver, I'm not sure, but it's not going to have any bird details, it's just going to be as is. So all I'm going to need for this is my acrylic paints, some water to water it down and I am just quite genuinely just going to dab it all over. I'm only going to really concentrate on where my drawing is. You can use this for any type of drawing and again it's the process that I want to show you more than the piece itself. So I'm going to dip in my paint and water it down with an awful lot of water so it runs and if it runs over my lines great if it doesn't I'm going to encourage it to do so each time what I'm going to be doing is you can hear me messing about in the background here getting a little rag to dry my brush off with and do the same thing again each time getting a little piece of paint really overloading my brush with the colour and let it do its thing. Once I think I've finished with that colour, just go and grab another one. I'm trying to make my work area darker, but if I make it too dark, you guys are not going to see anything. So I'm going to use some darker colours and if they run all over the place as they are doing, I'm not going to worry guys, I'm really not going to worry. Just trying to get it all mixed in, trying not to leave any brush marks but it's going to happen. started off with the colours just a little bit too enthusiastically so I'm putting smaller dots of paint on now. I don't like the colour that that's turned out. Before you completely finish, don't forget you need to check that all of your initial outline has been covered. If there's any bits that you don't like, you can go over them now. And if it runs, as mine just did, not a problem. As you can see, I'm allowing it to run. Now there's a lot here that I don't need, but it's fine. I'm gonna grab my trusty rag dab off these bits here only so it's going to dry a little bit quicker and I don't actually need them anyway right now then what's going to happen with this is I'm going to leave it in whatever sunshine we've got to dry off mm, but before I do I think perhaps I need a bit of a different colour here I'm happy with that. Okay, so I'm just going to tidy up my workspace and take this out to dry. This is now going to be left to go completely dry and we'll see how it turns out. So here it is so far. Now before I get on with the project there's just some things I want to show you and that is as you can see this is an art stone or a handcrafted stone and it's made from this mould. I'll put a link to this mould in the description box below. 
and it is specifically this one so it's made from plaster you can use any good plaster plaster paris molding plaster the choice is yours but what i will say to you is if you make it out of plaster paris it's no good for traveling because it's going to soak up all the water what i'm going to do with this now is i'm going to go around all the outline i'm going to use a pen because you know my hands are not as steady as they used to be so i'm going to use a pen to go around just the outlines i'm not going to do anything with the middle then i'm going to paint all of this in black so there's not going to be any talking from me i'm just going to get straight on and do this Of course you guys know that if you have a very steady hand and a very thin brush you could have done the outline yourself what's also good about this is you know those little foam shapes that you sometimes find in little kiddies arts and craft packets you can use those as a stencil so you know they come in farmyard animals cats dogs whichever give it a go with one of those do that first, you know, do the, the, the fake watercolour first, then put your outline on it, draw around it, paint the outside here in whatever colour you want. I'm going to do black because it's going to cover all of this and make this really stand out. And jobs are good in, as they say. I'm just going to prepare my black paint now and get on with this. Before I do get on with it, mind. I don't know if you've got any of these little areas here that you don't think you're going to be able to get your paintbrush in. If you have a black pen, this is an acrylic black pen, then give it a bit of a scribble to bring it out to the part where you know you're going to be able to get to. So instantly you can see that it's here that stands out more than everything else. Obviously I haven't finished yet. What I'm going to do is get a thicker paintbrush and fill the rest of this area in. Now this is going to need a second coat of black in some places, especially the bits where I went round in the beginning so i'm gonna to have to take some great care with that if you guys decide you want to do a similar process with something amazing using freehand drawing or a foam shape from a kiddies little craft pack or a stencil that you cut out for yourself don't forget share it on our facebook group i'm gonna leave leave this dry and then i'm gonna come back and give you a, a last showing when it's all perfectly dry and lovely and here it is with all the other layers painted on what i'm going to do is i'm going to finish the back and then put something on it so i can hang it up if you guys use this process please don't forget we'd really love to see your pictures on our facebook group i hope you enjoy this one and I hope you can find some fantastic things to draw around to use as stencils. I'll catch up with you soon. Ciao for now. We release new tutorial videos every Monday morning. If you'd like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe or sponsor us using any of the supporter links in the description below. Until I see you next week, keep on rocking. Ciao for now.